blah 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 disclaimer stuff I don't know if you've read it before but like it's here anyway yada yada okay on with the video now hello or oh, welcome back please adjust the slider until the dog and cat are friends oh <laughs> <laughs> Let's just the slide out until the number five becomes the number nine. He's <laughs> wing wingdings. <laughs> that's technically wait. Yeah, that's technically nine. Nine. Plain computer bell nine. B. Ambulance nine. Magnifying glass. Jane's house. The Roman numerals. Why not? Please adjust the slider until you stop adjusting the slider. Okay. <laughs> Which of the two weighed up words below is more appealing to you? Occupoinkle or scrumptish? Second one. Nah, I'm asking about the occupoinkle. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's go! Okay, squintish. Someone will. Please don't adjust the slide. Oops. <laughs> Do you know what time it is right now? Yeah. Is the time right now the correct time? Well, we don't know. Time is an illusion, man. What is time, anyway? Yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't taught me? Help. No. <laughs> will you come back to visit me? Of course I will. Mysterious stranger. With the sliders. Okay. Alright, so what are we moving on today? The new, new content. They need another new one tonight. The new, new, this new. The What's this? Bloody new, 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 new York or whatever from like Doctor Who. Stanley work yeah, oh yeah, I can skip that. We've already, we've already done that. You already know about the man named Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Doobie doobie doo. Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Yeah, room. Doobie Perhaps doobie doobie he didn't <laughs> Mr. Memo. Yes, please. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I got that. But fine, we'll go. Oh, no. We'll go this way. Yay! Another ele not elevator. Uh, what is this? Minecart ride. Woo. Oh my. Mm. Oh, we're in this way this time. This is the same way we came last time. No, we did like a whole like welcome to thing. I've been That's probably because we've done it already then. And about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe well, version of the elevator that actually is working this time. That's the new elevator. content, the fixing and elevator. The content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this for how chaotic this game is, wouldn't surprise me. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm We're very proud to announce for the first time ever. The first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. You. Look at this. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor the additions? End is never the end. Think of all Again. the new territory we'll cover with Four, a two, seven. sequel. An entirely new experience. It seems like those like the wacky theories they come up with, like so why there's a sequel. <laughs> we could go in so many different directions. Taste this the sequel. Is what fans have truly been asking for. I want to taste the sequel. I want to taste the taste the rainbow. <laughs> Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is Not just so way. much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. Can it's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation no, and long-term no, no. franchising potential. No, the two doors are back. New content is out. New content is in. New content part two. Oh, I'm busted. New hotness. 
Yeah, that's a Men in Black's reference. More the Stanley Parable. Better than Stanley Parable. Win win. The colour red. <laughs> My guys are two standing. <laughs> Five feet now, apart. Clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing. Scrum. It's like pitch figure, break, pitch design, can number two organize a handful of Profit. interesting Who took the red marker? But surely the game will sort of naturally spring two up eyes, around Two eyes, two ears, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. Out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. This way to the show floor. Here we are, let's go. Let's go, dude. There's a bus. <laughs> Why didn't I get a bus to the new content? Why didn't I ever take a dingy elevator? <laughs> Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name and the player that was playing the game. Here we are. Let's go. It looks so the Stanley Parable 2, I You've asked myself, complete with orange seats. What do players yeah, really huh? want? And of course, too big, too small, the first and most right. obvious answer is that they want to be Peak individually <laughs> recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only Jim. says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name. What if your name is Jim? Here, hmm? let's what if your name is Jim? <laughs> to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love Stanley it. Stanley Jim. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, okay. clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Mm, yes, my name's Jim. I'm going to play the Stanley Parable. Mm, yes, it's very Sitting fun. You do with Jim. Oh, oh my God, it's my name. Hold on. I wasn't <laughs> finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roll oh, play as Jim. Then you'll never understand. Very the welcome to Jim and Jim. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, oh, yeah. we're doing no, it no, again. And it. this time, let me finish first. We only play games <clears throat> have now, the word Jim in them. Allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. Imagine you're Jim. all Jim. right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate you know me in front of a buttons. different feature that I work very hard on? Jim. See, if you'd only Jim. played along, Jim. that would have been your Jim. name, the button Jim. says. Jim. No. Jim. In Jim. Oh. Jim. I can't even Jim. think about Jim. it. I'm Jim. taking the Jim button no. away. Jim. No, Jim. 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 Don't do this to me. No. How dare you. You heartless creature. I just want to be Jim. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable oh. too. They would appreciate what oh. I've created oh. here. Oh, dear. Oh. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> I don't listen to you. Free New Easy achievements. Here we go, let's go. Infinite Hall. I have been falling. 72 years. It just works. Not Todd. Not Todd Howard. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yeah. Hell yeah. You see, okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. Uh, broken. Not a wizard Stanley. Uh, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. To at last <laughs> satisfy the hordes of nope. ravenous fans all over the world the who have been uproariously demanding Yes, the this game has Gamers, an epilogue. we hear you. And I promise it will happen. Okay. What else? What other the jump cycle is back. 
Hell yeah. You gotta do 35 jumps. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like Ooh. to hang on to that for the sequel. Collectibles? The infinite hole, dude. Let's go. I'm gonna go see the infinite hole. It never ends. It's gonna be real fun. Let's say space most likely. Oh, space like infinity. Was <laughs> the space most likely? Educational use only. There's a thing on the floor. How deep can you dig? Right, man. The infinite hole. Stanley, it's here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Yeah. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end Whee! of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Well, we don't worry, ma'am. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly it's deep hole. It is. Hole for a is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. Every pause button is just a Roman numeral too. wants to fall infinitely. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, the thing's got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we I take it this is an ending, then? Yes. And agree to just call the hole the most infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. No, I like the hole, man. This is cozy. This, this is nice. This is fun. Look at all the cigarette butts people chucked in here. <laughs> it's not very nice. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more Oops. Oh, for heaven You see, I was right The problem is you The How problem you is that problem you like us. holes too much The problem is you Not normal. Yeah, no, normal no. person would have said Yep, that's an infinite hole right there it Goes on Dude. forever till the end of time Don't need to see it all, but not you Oh, no, 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 no You have a weird sort of Oh Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time you see the there than you did before. Here. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Suspicious. You got short of that time. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Whee! I really do have so gosh. How could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point 
where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Oh. Stanley, I have no oh. explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Oh, dear. Here, yeah, you only begin. Try no. Let's pop back up. Let's pop up back so I can see and we'll if this hole gets any Well, there it is. The shame of oh. my life. Why is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. You did. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. <laughs> Gee. Hmm. Is the um, teleport button not working. working? You sure? No, we're stuck in the hole. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Ah. Still nothing. Well, I suppose I, okay, I suppose fine. there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Send this Goodbye, kit. Stanley. You couldn't bear Banner to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope Bye. you and the hole have a wonderful rest of your time. Yeah, ma'am. I'm just gonna sit in the hole. Why not? How you guys uh, doing? Good. Oh, thank you for all the support for these, by the way. I just wanna like mention. I've, I've been meaning to mention it, and you know, I can mention it now. But, but yeah, like, thanks for all the views, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're yes. enjoying it, and obviously you're enjoying it, and it's nice to get that nice in between. Yes, this is moving. Yes, this is moving. Where are we going? Pushing deeper into the hole. Alright. Didn't need to say it like that. Yeah! We are on an adventure. I don't know why I put a weird accent on there. <laughs> what I'm texting, we're going on an adventure! He's wanting to kill Doug! Oh yeah, it's a minute. Ooh. I have to change your perspective. God. I mean, it's not like zoomed in on this kind of thing. <laughs> nice. Change of perception. Change of reality. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, yeah, fossils, man. Hold on. I'm going to come back to my life. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Change myself. Ah! <laughs> Cool, actually, I kind of like that one. These are made by real people, by the way. What even is that? What? That. Hates to change your mind. Stanley. 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 Oh. oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed ah. off there. Just I'm gonna go back in the infinite time of that whatever that was. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. I don't want to so change the noises. It's I just probably why it <laughs> didn't seem like it was doing anything. And wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Let me out, you just gag. Let me out. Let me out. 
Be fun. You win this time. <laughs> oh, now we go around all, all this the way back. Back. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Hello. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is it just here? Oh, good. You yeah, noticed just like my 50 side. seconds yes, off our time. I have something very exciting to show you. I think he does eventually reset you, but. <gasps> How dare he? It's quite good to just do it this way. No. Mm hmm. Wee! Back in the air again. You see, Stanley, we can do all I've been the things reflecting that we didn't on the do. Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a like lemon, and any new content for it should live up really to that it. legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one Play step one. even oh, further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Why are you ever seen this? Hmm? Is it alright you ever seen this movie on? Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking Sequels for. Sequels are good. Now, to be clear, Four I haven't two, quite half nailed two. down Batman, what exactly the Stanley two. Parable 2 City. is going Brackets. to be. But let's Mini take a look at some of the Doom features I've been developing in the forest. Forest. Mm, I don't know about that last one. If I can loosely organise oh. a handful <laughs> of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. New game features. development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Wait, you've been refreshed. Does that mean I get to do the gym button again? Oh, whatever. <laughs> We've done it once. Oh, yeah, I want to show you guys a cool little thing. It's not a Rickroll, by the way. Garrett, like, I've tested it. No, it's not a Rickroll. This QR code. I'll, like, step back a little bit. Give you a couple seconds. Alright, cool, moving on. I won't spoil what it does. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Hmm. This one's more colourful. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realise that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well, someday it is. Okay, just pick the opposite for me anyway. Seems we're going with get well, someday. Alright, cool. Get well, someday. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Collectibles? What's got a collectible, dude? Can you find them? No. Ah, collectibles. Oh. No. This gets a bit trippy, yeah. What's this, 2001? We all run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting There's no reward them. for collecting them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic Spoilers. joy of there watching is. the number go up. You I simply think. collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Yeah. You found it. All right, cool. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely. 
calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is I just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe. Jumps up with Matt for achievement. Ultra Jim. Deluxe. What does it even mean? Merch. The settings world Stanley champion. Parable that's quite hard to do, so I'll probably just show you someone that's done right that. There. It's yeah. future oriented. Mm -hmm. It screams Office decorations, and epilogue, which is not much. Collect the rest of the hall. I think it's just a bucket now. Okay. Let's go grab the bucket. Whoop. Reassurance bucket. <laughs> okay. A common bucket point time. of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who bucket. played it. Well, I'm happy Give to me the bucket. that after you much have to find consideration, the I've engineered a clever solution <laughs> to this fundamental problem with the game. It's a whole it's lot. It's the ah. Stanley Parable Reassurance coming. Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket... It's a, a miracle! A bucket has been born! Fill your mind and your heart. It's true. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know something? The many mm -hmm. disappointing contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal. Of course and it does. Even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance the while the bucket is in your arms. Give me a bucket. To be honest, it's a much bucket. more convenient solution for me. Give me a bucket. Actually redesigning the Good game is less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a yes, try. yes, 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 bucket. Yeah. Can you feel it? Can you feel the glow it? of comfort, even in the face of <laughs> crushing <laughs> despair, you, must already be sweeping through Why your you body. Say that, and in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as There's well? There's a fan art I think somewhere. that just holding it has made you and the uh, slightest bit more attractive as a person. There is a secret the to the bucket, but I will not tell you. Seem to go on and on. I will not tell you the bucket secret. All this and more. You just have to find out. You in the Stanley <laughs> Parable too. Oh, I don't know what you're doing so much, folks. Yeah, we got a bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable most bucket enjoyable in a video game? game? They shouldn't. That really should be an award if it isn't already. Yeah, ma'am. I got a bucket now. Exit. Jump to hold. Um, I guess it's time to leap. Got a lovely bucket. Beautiful. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Uh huh. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear Ooh. yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. How are you? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. <sighs> I honestly thought that was the TARDIS like for a second Stanley. there. <laughs> this isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure in the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe so that's it. Going for I anyway? can take the original Stanley Parable and simply the bucket well, ending. insert well, we're just a few of my new features. There's in many bucket endings. Of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I 
suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. It need a really, really tremendous a title screen. screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. And... <laughs> The Stanley Barrel too. <laughs> All right, okay. The great bucket ending. There's many bucket endings, dude. Well, that this was the great one. The great one. I'll come. All of this code <laughs> gone. What could it mean? Go well, some there. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah, I do. Stanley picked up the bucket. I picked up the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest um, and entered the door on his lap. So you want... Is it that... What was that door called? This was not what the door? correct way to the meeting room. He said, remember this sign. Oh, yeah, that's his way. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. Oh, yes, I have to be married. Don't then. go to the meeting room. Go somewhere yes, else. There's a reason. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Ah, see what it's there now. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. Well, so you can it should have alarmed him, of course, yeah. because buckets can't. And there's two different ones. But Stanley chose the bucket not to not. think about this obvious <laughs> fact. He was firmly convinced that yeah, the bucket dude. had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Well, Stanley, what I wanted, how dude? did you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Yeah, man. Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. I'm trying to get two more in this one. For this one. If we've got time. Um, They're relatively quick, so. 33. Mm -hmm. oh. But I don't want to take the bucket. What's this one? <gasps> Is this a bucket? I'm going to run oh God, it's a game show. Test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell yeah, us everything like the best game we'll ever the world, need man. to know about <laughs> what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Item one. Is this a bucket? Is this a bucket? No. <laughs> no. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? Is this no, a your bucket? Choice. Yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, <laughs> not an actual bucket. Oh, come on, that's bucket. a bucket, damn it. Item three. Is this a is bucket? Is this a bucket? Yes. No. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Yeah, I know. I got it right. Item four. Is, is this? this oh, totally. Bucket? That's totally. That's the, yeah. It's got to be a bucket, man. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. No, it's just it's a big bucket, man. Machine that tills the earth. It's a giant farm bucket. Gimmick. 
How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on. I don't know. To the next it's gonna be in a bucket in the glove box. The tractors <laughs> have glove boxes. <laughs> don't think so. Is this a bucket? Hell yeah, dude. Correct. Uh -huh. This is a bucket. Item six. Is this a bucket? Hmm. No. Trick question. Trick question. It's both. both. Gotcha. Taking it both. I'm shorting this bucket, ma'am. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yeah, that's totally a bucket. Okay. You and I both know there isn't anything here. No, I'm actually and I don't bucket. appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost you all know, sense of perspective. <laughs> what is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Yeah, totally, man. Stanley, I can't keep doing bucket. this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game. No. Entirely. Okay, here we go. Don't you dare. What happened? Is everything gone? What happened? Why did everything, everything disappear? Gone? Wait, was everything a bucket? Was everything Every a bucket? Every single thing in the game was yeah. a bucket. Oh my God, I have no It's idea. like that really famous Carl Sagan quote. Except me. Everything is I'm made of buckets. Bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're it's not a bucket right either. Much. Oh, this it's is buckets. wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Yeah, dude. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows buckets. what that information might do to a person. All right, here we go. All right, cool. These two are relatively quick, so I can get these two just out of the way. All of his co-workers were gone. It does require the what bucket. What did it mean? <gasps> Stanley Mom decided to go, go to the same the meeting way. room. Stanley lifted okay. the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. I've got to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, bugs. <laughs> Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest no, and no, entered no, the this, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. All right. Just got to figure out how to no, do this now. said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yes. So, go there. Well, go to the cargo right. lift. I'm assuming you can, can jump. Uh -huh. Oh. Right, let's get this first. Uh. This one going carefully. Because I don't want to fall off just yet. Give me. We found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Two of Remember, six. no reward for collecting well, all of these. Six. Only the intrinsic well, pleasure nope. of a job Small. well done. Yep. You can't buy Eight. that sort of happiness, Stanley. I you actually don't know how many there is. Yes. I implore you to save <sighs> at each and every moment because, you like, come across one of these beautiful figurines. There are a lot of reasons of which I will not spoil. Taste the sequel. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. I'm so assuming that's one. I'm assuming that's one thing he wanted to do. Yeah, through him, man. 
Oh, I thought the collectible was one of the things you wanted to do. There's two different versions of this, whether you bring the bucket or not. But yeah. this will make sense for the other ending that I'm aiming for. Apparently there's an Elden Ring Easter egg here somewhere. If you glitch the game out and do some jumps, there's like a grace around here somewhere. Or something. You know, like the, the, the bonfires. What, an Elden Ring? Yeah, the Elden Ring version of a bonfire that I can't remember the name of. Yeah. You have to jump to get to it, I think. That's something that we want to do on here, isn't it? Take number. But we want to actually, like... I don't even know. Like... Going blind. We we've we've only seen people play Elden Ring. We've actually never played it ourselves. Study this bucket. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. Anything makes. These are actually quite more euphoria. I feel. What the candy bear is? Every time I pick it up, no matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. Emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the Hammer. bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? There you go, that little segment of war ties into the next ending that I'm going to get real quick. If I can remember how I did it. All of his co-workers were gone. Mom, what can you mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The confusion and the chaos the all we seemed did. to melt away as Stanley embraced Wait. the bucket. Yeah, you've already done that. You've already done the bucket thing, you said you need to do it without the bucket. No, I said there's two versions of it, um, that's not what I'm aiming for. Oh. Wait a Is it back here somewhere? No, I've just forgotten where it was. Yes, yes it was. Oh. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Okay. Bright light for you again. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket, the bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Yeah, the bucket talks Of the him. countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger, of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. 
No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! A this person. is so stupid! <laughs> Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... My God, Stanley, you did it. No. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already up. had all 12 yeah, emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I don't remember, I don't remember that in country. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Oh, Come, kind of funny, let's actually. restart like the game, and we'll agree to stuff. never again go trifling with this bucket. Well, there's an error for the disguise that sucks. Away the inside of it. And there we go. That's all I wanted to do. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. we're good. Okay. Right, see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Right, bye. Bye.